So we are back with another career mode episode today and we are here in the training ground once again. All golds for everybody. Mitrovic, Toban, Arons, Mbemba and Suzoko. Simulate it. Mbemba, you've let the side down. What, what are you doing with a D? So we have the biggest game of the season just around the corner. It is against Sunderland. The rivals to Newcastle United. It's strong. The rivalry is strong. It's a must win game. And Leon Goretzka has emailed us. I don't know how he's seen the team when I haven't even seen it yet. But he said he's on the sub bench. No, we're changing that. This guy's on form we're playing him. I wasn't too sure if we should play Mitrovic over Charlie Austin but Charlie Austin is on form but I've decided to go with my gut instinct which is Mitrovic as he's more of a brute he's going to be out muscling players and I feel that against Sunderland you're going to need someone like that. Colaccini is back in the side hopefully he doesn't let us down. It is his last season and he's not playing that well but uh, he has the heart and determination and he's going to captain the side. We're ready stay in with light here we come Oh, look at that Mbemba. Beautiful play. He's put through Mitrovic already. Go on, Mitrovic. He's trying to slide me. Mitrovic for an early goal. Mitrovic has done it. And that is why we play him over Charlie Austin. He's got the strength just to burst through. And it was a tackle from Mbemba in the middle of the park to create that chance. They fell asleep. We caught them early. Greska needs some help. Oh, look at that dribbling. He's so confident on the ball. You wouldn't think he's just a, a new guy or a youngster. But this is good build-up play. Oh, he's just passing through to Suzoko. He's being out muscled there. We need to show a little bit more strength. I don't know how long we can go like this for if we can get another goal. Look at that Suzoko winning the ball back in the middle. He's come wide a little bit. Oh, he's just punched me, ref. Oh, he needs support. Give it back to him. And he can hold it up. That's why we brought him into the side. He can hold it up. But also, Charlie Austin is good. So we do have some competition up top there. But Yamat wants to start bursting in the middle. Ooh, Don Gretzka, you can find him. Look at that ping out wide to Suzoko. We got some men in the box there. Suzoko's just going to... Chip that in. Oh, it's a bit of an awkward ball to deal with. Half time it is. And as you can tell by the stats, it's a very even and close game. It's a battle of midfield. The only difference between the two sides is we took our chance very early on and they didn't. But I'm looking maybe to bring on a few fresh legs just to keep up the high tempo and high pressure. And we will come away with the victory. We've got this. Oh, as a crunching tackle. He's gone in hard there and with intent to hurt, I think. And he's going to play through Mitrovic. No. Oh, Gretzka, ah. Nah, he, he, he made me go in for that challenge like that. Come on. Oh, I've got away with it. It was a bit of a harsh challenge, but... Ooh, double foot up. Well, double knee to the leg. Oh, Cole back going in for a slide now. All of the challenges are going in. We, we are going in hard, but so are they. So, I guess it's a fair game. Ah, oh, lovely tackle. That's what we want to see, Anita. Good lad. Get the tackle in. Get the tackle in, Colaccini. You've, you've lost it. You've left the tackle. Colaccini, it's off the post. What a header. Who was that? Defoe he scored. And I think it was Jetro. Jetro Willems. What a defensive clearance that was. I've made a few substitutions. I've actually brought on myself um, Wijnaldum to replace Goretzka because he doesn't really know how to like put in the grind to tackle. So I decided to bring on Wijnaldum for that. And Czech Chiarote will replace Anita. But what a clearing. Go and close him down. What are all these chips that they're doing? I don't get what they're trying to do with that. Full time it is. And we do, in fact, get the result away at Sunderland. 1-0 very early on. Alexander Mitrovic scored the goal when he was running through. But apart from that, the game was pretty scrappy. It wasn't until the end of the game where chances were created. But Sunderland were in control at the end. But they didn't have enough to break us down. Good result. Here we are with another week of training. And I've decided to include uh, Ayose Perez for the fact that he isn't getting started. And I don't want him to dip in form or uh, overall ratings. I want to continue to keep keep him growing. Maybe we'll even sell him on. Who knows? But I do like a Jose Perez, so I don't think I will. But let's simulate it. Here we go. Mitrovic is the only one to get a D, so I think we did all right with that. B, C, and A. That's good. So we're up against another team with red and white stripes today, but we are at home against Stoke City. They've changed up their football. They can actually play some good stuff now under new management, but I've never been a fan of Stoke City. But I've decided to change up the team a little bit, drop Toban to the bench and replace him with Wijnaldum and brought on Goretzka. Well, as you know, Goretzka is starting uh, quite a lot for us now. But yeah, that is a team. Mitrovic starts as well. Let's do it. I think they realised that we have just come off of a derby win. So we've put, like spent out all our uh, energy and they are going to really take the fight to us now. Look at that. Go on, Suzoko. Use your power. Oh, come on. He's literally pulling me. That's a foul. Oh, my God. Where did that come from? Good clearance, though. Where did that header come from? It was a bullet. Took me by surprise. Oh, unlucky, nearly, nearly intercepted that. He's taking the strike. It's off the bar again. Cruel, get up. 
Oh my god, they're really they're really coming at us now. He's going to play it across to Mitrovic. Play it in the middle. Oh, you've got Goretzka through. Go on, Goretzka, just finesse it. Oh, he needed needed a little bit more time. We've got a free kick out of that, though. Well played. Suzoko from the free kick. Can we get a goal? Suzoko! And we've done it. What a free kick from Moose Suzoko. What a free kick that was up and over the wall. Not stopping that. Beautiful goal. And that's really against the play. They've been in total control. High pressure. And what a free kick from Musa Suzoko. Good stuff. And Bemba has been absolutely amazing for, for us today. Really, really good. There's someone that's gone down injured, though. So, yeah, we're going to have to stop the play. Someone's gone down injured. I think it's Bojan. It was from the Mbemba tackle. I don't think there was any menace in it, though. It was a clean tackle. He's just been on form for us. He's got at least three or four um, clean tackles in today, but he's just come off worse there. Charlie Adams, come on for uh, Bojan. Halftime it is, and I feel that maybe we need to change a few things up, but Stoke City have been the better side today. Uh, Mitrovic is doing well. Goretzka's doing perfectly fine, but it's in the defense. We're struggling. Colaccini is just lacking strength, pace. I, I would actually use Lascelles, but against Stoke City side, I think he's going to get bullied. So we keep it the way it is. Yeah, get him out, get him out. No, Colacini's missed the tackle. What's he doing? It's Shakiri, and he's put the ball across. I think that's Charlie Adams that scored. That came on for the injured Bojan. Jesus, we just fell asleep there. It's Colacini. It's his fault. He doesn't really like closing down properly. Gongreska. In the middle to Anita. You can see the opening from Wijnaldum. Wijnaldum can finesse them. Oh, good dribbling, Wijnaldum. Oh, Jesus. Imagine if that went in. That was a really nice shift of body weight to get the shot out. That's unlucky, man. Bitch, Mitrovic, you can spot him. Oh, that pass to Suzoko was awesome. Keep keep going, keep going, Suzoko. Get down that line. Good play, Suzoko. Go, go, power. Keep powering. Oh, it could have been a penalty. Cross it in. Anybody there? Um, Wijnaldum is coming. Oh, I've just completely messed this attack up. Oh, Wijnaldum's done well, though, to keep that on. Jitro Willems, he's got the skills to, to, to try and get past him. Go on, he's got the strength as well. Play it across on the edge. Call back with a strike. Good save. Unlucky. Powering down this line. Oh, that's well defended. How has he still got the ball? He was on the floor. Jesus, Juve is a monster, man. You can't get the ball off of him. Oh, no. I didn't mean to do that. I did not mean to do that. I was... Come on, ref. Seriously, come on, ref. It was Juve's fault anyway. Straight red. I don't even know why Colasini is out there in the first place. Why is he so far out of his centre-back position? Doesn't make any sense. Full time here at St. James's Park. It is one apiece uh, against Stoke City. The talking point of the game is going to be that red card. But Stoke themselves were in total control the whole game. We got a lucky break getting that free kick. But nah, it, it was coming. It was inevitable that they were going to get back into it. 1-1, good game. So Colaccini is out the next game, obviously with that one match with suspension. We've got some upcoming fixtures though that I've been thinking to play offline and then showing you the highlights. If you don't want me to do it and just to keep it the way I've been doing it, then let me know. We've got Bournemouth, we've got Leicester and we've got Crystal Palace. And then if we go to the next month, it starts to uh, sort of run down with a few interesting fixtures like Liverpool, Spurs that we will obviously play. And then we are in January back with the transfer window. So guys, if you have enjoyed another episode of Career Mode, drop a like. And yeah, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Team out. <laughs> Hop,